Hello, class, and welcome back to Y Caliber. I'm Matt. Mike, not Matt. I'm having uh, <laughs> my Mike having disassociative identity, apparently. Uh, and I'm the player of everybody's favorite third stringer, Galen Craid. With me today, we have D Davis on Gears, um, other Matt on Prestov, Feral Knights playing Saria Blummy, and of course, uh, Jared on Tovin Bell, and our dear friend Matt on Graz whose name I'm not going to try to say in full. When a player dies in Project Mayhem, his name is also Matt. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't get to introduce our wonderful GM, Steven Siddall. <laughs> Yay! Right, who I totally forgot because he's on the app with me. <laughs> he just he just is like subtly letting me know that he's not having fun. Oh. Aww. 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 What a dick. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Alright. So when we play Shadowrun 5th Edition next, we'll show him who's boss. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just go through three characters before the first session is even over. Uh, I just want to roll 1,000 dice. He thought he's behind he the pile of dead bards. He thought his adept had bad luck. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, so you guys had just finished uh, going through the spider, making certain deals, uh, also tipping off a under, Black Sun underboss as to someone who potentially screwing his organization. And, uh, yeah, now you're going to check out what the Zelcom Tower is about. Hey, okay, Presto, did you want your, your money back? Uh, <laughs> yes. Okay, <laughs> I give Presto back his 300 credits. And take the 2200 for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Man, I had successes. How come I didn't get any money? Because he won the entire thing. 23s beat everyone. Should have stuck we to the side pod. We should have stuck to Zach. <laughs> that's technically. Build a deck. <laughs> God damn it. All right. I got those plus minus cards. Yeah, got it. Okay, so the Zelcom Tower, as you guys approach it uh, on your speeder, you're able to ascertain that it's not shady at all. It's actually in one of the nicer parts of Coruscant, uh, definitely rising above the uh, squalor of you know places like the Umber Club at the very least. Uh, turns out it's actually a uh, home to Zelcom Industries, which is a small shipping company. Who's this ARP guy that's talking? Yeah. It's a uh, parasite that lives in my fur. <laughs> <laughs> it's a serious parasite. Yeah. Keshek right. is a serious place. That's true. Especially the Shadowlands. Full of trees and forest and high grass. And Jolie Bindos. Are we going right. to... Now, Wookiees, they but... live on Kashyyyk. <laughs> <laughs> Let me read the uh, cutscene here. Looming ah. over its surroundings, the Zelcom Tower is home to a shipping company that delivers goods between the Core Worlds and the Outer Rim Territories. Its, headquarter in, its headquarters in Sector 1265 is bustling with visiting clients and traders during business hours, but fortunately you waited until night. Uh, so now it is dark and apparently closed. Nevertheless, there appears to be some activity going on around the building under the cover of darkness and a small shuttle departs from an upper docking pad as you approach. Uh, at the moment, it doesn't look like there's a lot of people here. There's some people moving around, but they're probably just, you know, doing after-hours uh, cleanup and, you know, stuff like that. Well, as a so, total aside, uh, I just wanted to apologize about the disappearing video in the last video. I, I tried to fix it with screenshots, but we'll see how good that looks. Indeed. Exploit got a little confused. Anyway, let's continue. So yeah, you're here. There's a tower. You can break into it, maybe. There's a... Uh, the easy, easiest entry points that you can find are from the front door, obviously. But, you know, that might attract attention. You're going to the front door. Uh, then there's also a maintenance bay on the side of the building. It's kind of a huge blast door. Um, it's closed at the moment. But, you know, it's at the side of the building, so it's less likely to attract attention. Or you could, you know, keep keep looking. Does it have a 
obvious computer terminal port places. Yes. Well, we awesome. had some badass slicer who could get us in there. Let's slice open the blast door. Unfortunately, we <laughs> just got gears, so... Uh, oh, you bitch. Uh, oh, that's big talk <laughs> from the party's dead weight. Mm. <laughs> oh. Hey, Gears has yet to prove any more useful than Galen. Gears has done tons of stuff. It's pretty useful. <laughs> yeah. Let him prove it well, this night. Well, shit. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, yeah, yeah, let's... Poor Galen has got these horrible self-image self issues now. Oh, let's slice open <laughs> That maintenance paid. All right, we got sure. it. it's up here it's now. Up here. Yeah, we uh, we'll, we'll, you know, meander over there casually. All right. So yeah, the maintenance bay. There's no one there, so it's pretty easy to get up to it without attracting any attention. Uh, the lock on the door is, in fact, you know, it's sliceable. Um, it's only average difficulty, but they have. It's a little bit above normal. So it's going to incur a setback die because, well, it's a little bit above normal. Mm, okay, okay. That's, so, that's fine. Yep. I set up the terminal for you, Gears. Excellent. So, so it's an average and a setback, so two purple and unless you have a uh, yes. Unless you have a trait that gives you, lets you remove setback dice, do you? Uh, only when I'm talking to droids. And I don't think the maintenance bay door is a droid. Mm -mm. It is not. That's racist, man. <laughs> but I don't know. I think I think I, I think. Wait, uh, I guess because I... you have to keep yourself selected. Yeah, well, someone moved me. That's what oh. happened. I I got it. Threw a wrench into the works. I'm just trying to keep our verisimilitude at optimal levels. <laughs> it's, it's it's cool. It's cool, baby. Damn. Oh, fuck. Mm. It's okay. We still have more than Galen. I think you're sticking the right thing in that hole. Uh, well, you, you know, use your slicing tools to try to, you know, you stick it in, wiggle it around a little bit. <laughs> uh, the code <laughs> doesn't quite Jiggle bend, it back you and will. Forth. Uh, you do figure out that, <laughs> in addition to the guy paying attention, whoever installed this, is setting up, you know, some uh, slightly above standard uh, security protocols. You notice that there's a, uh, almost everything is wired to alarm. So, if you were to incur any sort of, well, at least two threat on a uh, check, they'll probably trigger a silent alarm. Oh, that's that's a no good. No, it's not. <laughs> Uh, I guess I could try again. Yeah, you can totally try again. Perhaps same, same dice. Throw a force point onto that. I will also throw a boost die because you're getting more familiar with it. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. And Prestov is now shouting at you. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're trying to be sneaky. Quietly shouting. Quietly shouting, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. Just harshly, harsh whisper. As long as it's not a careless whisper. <laughs> no, those are Graz's territory right now. Yeah. So, I spent a force point. I forget what that does for me. It It'll, bumps up one of your... Yeah, bumps up one of your die. So in this case, you'd have three yellow and one green. Oh, nice. Upgrade to check. Nice, nice. I like it. I like it. Now I'm rolling all the colors. Wow! Seriously? <laughs> How is that even possible? <laughs> uh. Wow. That's awful. Yeah. Wow. Like, this is, this one is a serious fireball. lock, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should try something else. You know what? <laughs> I figured it out. Uh, I've been using one of those microwave probes <laughs> instead of the computer tool. Like that thing you put in the milk. To make it warm in the microwave. Oh. Well, it's, it's, it's really... good that you figured that out. 
Oh, yep. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna final try, I guess. Do, does anyone else want to look around while they're while he's doing this? Yes. We're, yes, we're all looking. Sure. Around, and, sure. Especially yes. Yes. And okay. if you guys don't find anything, Presto will shoot it. The lock. <laughs> yes. That one will attract attention. Works in the movies. Maybe okay. I can, maybe I can try forcing it open if if this. Hey, doesn't. my uh, first successful roll. Yeah, except for it's two purple die in, in addition to that. Yeah, you gotta have a posing die. <sighs> You succeeded against nothing. Okay. Hey, Tovan's got it. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Come back on. Oh no. No, I hate purple dyes. I'm done. Uh, here, I'll Get back I'm in there, you baby. Oh, <laughs> well, everyone's looking around. I'll just, uh. Look at these perception jacks. Look at all these successes we're getting. Oh, wow! You gotta try him. You're rolling everything except for what you need to. Yeah, you Man, gotta try failure. him. Wow. Damn, uh, let me try the computer at this point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. But, uh, as you guys are looking around, uh, and Gears is fiddling with the, uh, the lock there, uh, <laughs> first up just walks over and whacks it with his hand. Is like gun. Oh goodness. Okay. Advantageous failure. Right. So, Prestov is able to open it. Um, but <sighs> in the meantime, <laughs> every time I try to get in the door open, that exe it takes me to hotchicks.com. What's going on? Here? It's okay. It's okay, Gears. That that was your test, and you failed. <laughs> oh. We'll be replacing oh. you at the next board. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But he rolled a triumph. That's got to be counted for something. <laughs> yes, I will bank that for later. Um, but for now, <laughs> for now, um, goodness, you... Tom just stares at the door angrily. It <laughs> Okay. Uh, yeah, you do find other ways into the tower if you want to explore them, but you you have an open door. Uh, I'll explain them anyway. No, nope, no, nope, we're going through the air ducts. Actually, there is ventilation grates that you can. There's no use. way we could fit in the air ducts. Yeah, I'm not they are very there. small. They are very small. We, we could maybe down fit to our glass versions and go in. We could maybe fit Saria and Gears in those. If only we had some uh, type of small, compact scout type alien. Where would we get one of those, though? I don't know. Check the or maybe a mouse space droid. Space what if we had a mouse droid? <laughs> but no, there are ventilation grates which you could squeeze through, even the Wookiee, but it would be quite difficult of a check for the Wookiee. Uh, it would be embarrassing if you got stuck like halfway through. It would be. Also, if he maybe rolled despairs. <laughs> it would be great if he rolled like despairs and then he enters like a, a Wookiee blood rage in the end events because he's so pissed. No, he's claustrophobic. <laughs> Guys, I didn't tell you this, but I'm claustrophobic. We're like, ah, good. Yeah, all right. We're all motivated. In addition to that, there is an elevated terrace about four stories up above you, um, which you can either climb up or, well, you, you do have an airspeeder. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Well, we got the door open, so we're going in the open fucking door. <laughs> Okay. Let's split up, gang. All right, Galen, you go that way. Well, the rest of us will go this way. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're sticking together. Never split the party. Never split the party. Oh. Oh. Okay. Aww. All right. So Galen just walked off into space. <laughs> <laughs> Galen looks forlornly at the hologram of his wampa. <laughs> Somewhere beyond the stars, <laughs> somewhere waiting for me. <laughs> Alright, uh, the maintenance bay has... I'm sad now. The maintenance bay has no one in it. Um, you know, it's mostly just like they're uh, chipping things. There's crates somewhere that contain mostly useless crap. Um, yeah, so it has nothing in it. Uh, it's on the first floor, of course, and... Yeah, that's just where they stick uh, ships, sometimes speeders, when they no need to. No sign of anything illegal? Not Which here. Illegal weapons? Not here, no. There's just mostly, like, actual, like, sundries. No big crates that say, shh, 
don't look in this. <laughs> no. Damn, these guys are good. Is and, there a way uh, further in? Yeah, you can access the building without a uh, check. They don't. Uh, the, the inner doors apparently don't lock, or they don't keep them locked. Um, so yeah, uh, there's not much on the first floor. It's mainly just the lobby. Uh, who's the first to the door? Me. Okay, Graz. Uh, I don't think any of us are arguing with the Wookiee. <laughs> Graz. Yep. Entering the lobby. Um, let's do a, a easy perception check. That's one purple die. Okay. You see a metal detector and a man in a black trench coat. <laughs> there are no successes today. Nope. None whatsoever. Never. Well, we got plenty on those perception rolls. That's true. You used them all up before. Uh, uh, everyone's using them all. <sighs> all right. You don't notice much until you're almost right on top of it. It being a Gand sitting at the lobby uh, entrance. It's not this Gand, it's that Gand. Oh, a Gand. But we killed him! No, no, no. no, no, no. It's not no, that I... Gand. It's, it's that the... other Gand. It's the other it's Gand. That's true. <laughs> uh... He's sitting out uh, clear view of the front doors, except for they're kind of far away uh, because, you know, it's a big lobby. Um, so he wasn't able to see you guys like pull up or anything like that. I was assuming you just kept away from the front doors, honestly. Um, he does have video cameras. He's got kind of a computer set up. There's, oh, know. okay. I thought he was just like sitting there. <laughs> just hanging just out. Chilling. Like, eh. <laughs> no, eh. he's actually doing security duty. So, yeah, I mean, oh. you, you come right up on him and you're able to, with the advantage, just stop yourself from, uh, you know, not uh, you notice him just in time, basically. Okay. So what are you gonna do about it? I knock him out. <laughs> okay. Straightforward. That's what I prefer. I'm that a poor Wookiee Gand rent a car. I do. <laughs> All right. No, we're not shooting him. Pressed off. It probably takes some kind of check. I assume you're probably just not going to bother stealth, though. You're probably just going to wander up and, like, smack him in the face. Yep. Well, I mean, well, if I, I can sneak it. up behind him and bonk him on the head so much, the better. But, you know, either okay. way, he's getting bonked on the head. Well, let's do it this way. First roll stealth. Against how much difficulty? Just, mm, let's make it one. He's gonna near him, that guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, you definitely near him. Um, <laughs> there are the successes. You take two strain. I'm gonna die of strain. The Wookie, the Wookie's <laughs> up on his tiptoes. <laughs> you don't need to say that out loud. Then he takes two strain. Uh, now roll Brawl and get three boost die for the stealth check. Oh my god. And fail every single one of them. Oh. You sure didn't. Sure didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I got now I'm jealous. Uh, honestly, even if that, if I weren't like cutscene quote-unquote killing him uh well are you killing him or are you just knocking him out i'm just gonna knock him out i mean i don't, I don't need to kill him right right that's, that's cool so yeah even if i weren't like cutscene killing him he has like crappy hit wounds so that just like you just punch him right in the face like right in the back well, actually right probably like right in the back of the head and like his uh respirator like smashes against the desk and then he just like falls over cool cool lip noodle so yeah, uh, yeah, you got everything else. You got the, the video cameras, you got the computer. Yeah. I'll uh, gesture to the others because I have no idea what any of this stuff is. All right. Can I recover strain with my advantages? Um, sure. Yay. What the hell's part of the time to shine again. Hopefully. You can try. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm going to change all their desktops to my ham. It's my compressed <laughs> ham. Your, your ham? My ham. It's my pressed ham. 
Actually, he's <laughs> got an amazingly delicious-looking Christmas ham that he just pulls out. It's like, all right, let's get to this. I'm, I'm gonna poke around in the cameras and see, uh, see if there's anything up ahead that might be nasty and not want to deal with it. Well, you want to mess with the cameras or the computer? The, the, the cameras. Uh, I want to look at the cameras through the computer, I guess. Well, it's two different screens, but the, the, the cameras are basically, you know, they're set up across all. Apparently, there's like 19 floors this place, and uh, yeah, there's. You do see patrolling security guards. Not many of them, though. They're mostly on the upper floors. Oh, okay. I don't know what to do with the computers. I guess I could turn off alarms or open you the could doors. Slice them. I'm gonna <laughs> slice computers. <laughs> okay. This time it's an easy check, and you will have two boosts died due to your earlier triumph. Oh, nice. So yeah, just one, one purple. Uh, I gotta reselect myself because people keep moving you. I I, I understand why, but I, I should move my man. It's a bit vexing. All right, so two blue die, and it's an easy check. So it's one purple die. Yep. Awesome. Man. I hope I don't fuck it up. That'd be super embarrassing. You don't hey! fuck it up. Woohoo! Gears gets to keep his job. Finally, <laughs> I know how to computers, everybody. <laughs> Alright. This is Unix. I know this. <laughs> Thanks, Lex. Okay. You're able to figure out that the probably the office, or rather the computer you want to hack, is on the top floor. It's uh, the personal private office and computer of Korum Sadia, who is apparently a uh, Ishi Tib who runs uh, Zelcom Industries. Ishi Tib is apparently a crab person. Crab hmm. uh, beep. Uh, beep. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... Basically, you know it's on the 19th floor. Uh, you also learn of the existence of a sub-basement. <sighs> Check that out. That's probably got, like, eating carbines in it. That we can just blast off in outer space with. You don't know. There's actually no video cameras down there. Well, that makes that me double sure. tell. <laughs> <laughs> and frankly... That's just, you know, music to my ears. <laughs> well, I, I, I briefed the, the men, so I'm like, hey, 19th floor is awesome. Also, there's a sub-basement that's probably awesome. <laughs> well, what do we want to check out first, sub-basement, or go all the way up to the top? Like, hey, you guys want to come down to the sub-basement with me? Wink. <laughs> <laughs> Run for your life. <laughs> I promise I won't do anything weird down in the sub basement. <laughs> so we we can't see what's down there. Special style ball gag. Yeah, you have no <laughs> idea what's on the sub basement. <laughs> hmm. Uh, there are elevators that you can access. They're easily accessible, actually. Once you do access them, however, you notice that uh, there are, you know, of course, buttons for each of the floors, including the 19th. But there is also a button for the sub-basement, but it requires a key card. What? Uh, what? Did that dude have any key cards on him? He did not. Uh, what did he have on him? Drawer on his desk <laughs> that says key cards? No. Nope. Touch? No. Nope. That the 19th floor has a key card in the desk. Of the idiot who runs the place. <laughs> we're gonna have to do possible. We're gonna have to do a puzzle related to the different sectors of Coruscant City. Uh, if we yeah, have to do, are we gonna Tower, have to do Tower of Hanoi, Hanoi again? Yeah, Tower of Hanoi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we both went there, dude. Yeah, <laughs> We've all played Bioware games. We know what's up. <laughs> Uh, you could hmm. also try slicing the elevator. It's really hard, though. Four yeah, for I don't, I'm not feeling that right now. <laughs> um, well, let's let's go. Uh, let's let's take this shadow run uh -huh. up yeah. to the nineteenth floor. Uh -huh. Sure, sure. 
Like, if there's no key card up in the 19th floor, maybe I'll slice it, but I don't know. Why, why we have, have to slowly hard? check floor by floor. They come in for work in the morning, we're Perfect. still on like two. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys doing? Trying to find a key card. Oh, what are you trying to do? Hey guys. Take some guy's coffee. <laughs> Get back to out work. Of hand. This isn't a Deus Ex game. Gross Thanks, like it's KO'd by the office linebacker. You killed him, so you make some mo. <laughs> Alright, so, 19th floor, all the way up. You go to the top, and, uh, yeah, there's, uh, sl some, uh... <laughs> I hope the elevator's <laughs> fast, because we're probably pretty crowded. <laughs> Hopefully. And, of course, it's a tight and close space with a Wookiee. Doesn't smell too good. I smell That's great. <laughs> You smell great. He smells like, like badass, is what he's like. <laughs> All right, top floor. Uh, there's a bunch of smaller offices, but it's. I mean, Gears knows where the office is. It's the basically. It's kind of the one at the center of the maze of like cubicles and shit. So you get there. Of course, the door's locked, and this one's not locked with a computer. You have oh. to skullduggery open. Ooh. Wow. Get get to it, Tohan. Do, 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 do. Wait, this felt like a cactus an alarm too, isn't it? Maybe. <laughs> Tovan pulls a hairpin <laughs> from the back of his head. <laughs> so let's see. Upgrade that check. What's the difficulty? Uh, two. Too purple. Okay. That's good, because if it generated any threat at all, you would have triggered the alarm. <laughs> uh, you pop the door open, it swings open silently. Uh doesn't seem like there's anything that's going on. Yeah. There's a kind of neat, it's really meticulously kept in this office. It's you know the biggest office in the place, but it's like like the guy has to spend at least like an hour a day making sure that like everything's at like right angles to each other. That's how like ah. the tickets are kept it. Uh, uh, so one just like immediately knocks over a stack. Uh, yeah, no, no, <laughs> no, no, way better than that. I'm going to subtly move everything on the desk. Oh, terrible. <laughs> terrible. All right. But so yeah. You need the key card, I guess, and With... anything else that looks cool. Was my stapler here last weekend for a lift? I don't... <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't seem right. Okay, so, uh, another computer to hack. This time it is, a, you know, of course, the badass computer, so it is a hard check at three purple die, and Gears knows enough about computers to know that this is set up such that if you fail a password three times, another alarm is the sound of it. Everyone else can roll a hard perception check, which is three purple. Ow. I'm gonna do another force wow, point thing. Wow. Okay. This is just my. This roll is just going to be my life. Oh come on! Sorry, what was the difficulty? Three. Three. It's all that space ah. I've been eating. Look at all those advantages, though. You get enormous satisfaction from screwing over this guy's thing, though. Oh my god, I feel <laughs> so good about it. <laughs> Everyone who got threat, though, do, do, do take some strain, equal to the number of threat you got. I just healed that. <laughs> okay, Gears. No, wait, but I do I negate the strain with the Bam. advantage? Bam! Oh, damn! Nice! No. Oh, ooh, look at that. Cutest! Ooh. Help computer! Nice. And did I perceive anything? Yes. Yes, you do. Um, let's describe the computer thing first, just to keep you in suspense, though. Alright, so you're able to hack this dude's password, and from there it's like this ridiculously meticulous uh, record-keeping that is like 
it, like there's like, at least like three backups of everything, and it's like it, it's completely ridiculous what this guy has done. But that makes it all the more easier to find Kato uh, within the files. There's apparently a shipment that was sent to him of some weapons. And uh, you actually discover the address, the exact address, of a Novacore Calerium processing plant, which apparently is where Kato is hanging out. Huh. So now you know exactly where it is. Huh. So he was Most worth it. Useless to us at this point. No, yeah, it is true. Well... He could go to the meeting place and be like, I bet this is going to be an ambush. And then we just go away at his house and come <laughs> back. And it's a double ambush. Oh, a double cross? Yeah! Ooh. Damn. Uh, in addition, you see that uh, there are some further items awaiting his um, or delivery that are going to be shipped out later tonight to this place. Should reroute those to the uh, space turtle. I bet I could do that. Sure. It'd be another hard check. All right. Well, I mean, I've already got his password, so. I mean, oh. uh, alternatively, we could just steal all of it while we're here. Yeah, actually, is there like a print key card command? Well, on that. Uh -huh. Looking around, as you physically do, uh, Presto actually got some, you know, successes there. <laughs> as Tovin oh, nice. puts everything on the opposite side of the desk from where the <laughs> uh, You do find at least one locked drawer, which is easily, as in one purple die, uh, picked, if you wish. Well, okay. Go there's also that. some... There's also some, you know... Um, what did you know exactly? Okay, you pick it up. Uh, there's also some other stuff. It's, you know, data pads. It's, uh, you, it gives names of various clients. Um, actually, you notice that a lot of them are, like, there's actually a, one of them for that guy that you met, at the spider. Uh, there's a lot of them that go to the Black Sun. Oh. So apparently a lot of these shipments, uh, you know, weapon smuggling to the Black Sun uh, itself. So we could end up completely screwing over a major criminal syndicate. You could. <laughs> what a no, shame that would but be. But we're not going to do that. Oh, we're, so, we're, totally gonna, we're totally going to do that. No, we're not going to do that. <laughs> They've already been shooting at us. No, no, we're, we're going to blackmail them later. <laughs> going to blackmail <laughs> criminal I'm syndicate? I'm not sure that's actually going to work. No, it will. No, trust us. It's gonna. Yeah, happen. we'll 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 make it work. Don't worry. Anyway, uh, let's let's copy these names down. Yeah, okay, okay, all right. I'll, I'll spend some, some time uh, copying some files. Making copying some floppies. That that doesn't exactly. require a check. So yeah, no, nah, no, nah, I'm just gonna do some copies, copy out some copy towns. Okay. <laughs> and uh, in addition to picking open the drawer, you find out uh, you find a holdout blaster, woohoo, and then a uh, key card. Nice. Well, I'll take that. <laughs> Which one? All, all of it. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Press He's just snap happy to finally be able to loot something. <laughs> I know, right? Never again. I guess. <laughs> Let's all go down to the sub basement for some activities. <laughs> activities.